There are currently 315,000 active cases across Australia. Almost 12,000 positive tests were recorded in the latest reporting period. Numbers are expected to grow over the next few months. I always expected that um, the peak would be around winter, um, but what we could see is a further peak uh, in September. So we are, we are looking carefully at all of that. The national pay gap between men and women is nearing $1 billion a week. Gender discrimination is contributing to more than one third of the $2.56 hourly difference. The biggest disparity is in female dominated industries such as healthcare, social assistance, education and training. While it's predominantly females and women that are working in those industries, it tends to be that men have, have the higher paying roles. So we have a lot of women working in them, um, but there is still a very significant gender pay gap in them. Um, we do see in some of the industrial industries as well, as I've said, a higher paying for men uh, and have a lot of men both working at higher rates and at higher levels, uh, earning those bigger incomes. Despite action across public and private sectors to address the issue, it's estimated the gap equates to more than $50 billion annually. A teenage boy has been rescued after falling the equivalent of four storeys from a cliff in the Hunter Valley region and becoming entangled in a tree on Tuesday night. The boy escaped the incident with a broken leg obtained when the tree broke his fall just metres from the ground. The teen remained trapped in the rain for three hours before emergency services were able to rescue him. He was transported to John Hunter Hospital in Newcastle, where he remains in a stable condition. Bunnings' popular sausage sizzle has fallen victim to the cost of living crisis. The price of the sausage will rise from $2.50 to $3.50 at more than 300 Bunnings stores across Australia, the first increase in price in 15 years. It's in response to calls from more than 100 community groups which have seen a fall in money raised due to the increasing cost of goods. The price rise will take effect from Saturday, July 23. All funds raised go to community groups, not-for-profits and charities. Don't worry, the price of drinks will remain $1.50. Social media giant TikTok has confirmed its Chinese staff are able to access user data from Australia. Shadow Cyber Security Minister James Patterson wrote to the company, which has confirmed it limits the number of people able to access information. TikTok claims it has never provided Australian data to the Chinese government, nor has it been asked. Beijing cyber security laws require social media companies to hand over information if requested. The federal treasurer is warning users to be cautious what they post online. Those concerns have been there for some time. Uh, and we take advice, obviously, from our various national security agencies when it comes to the use uh, and safety online of various social media platforms. Uh, it's not for me to necessarily add to that. Uh, Australians need to be careful online and we need to recognise the risks uh, of participating in some of those platforms. Tens of thousands of students in one of Melbourne's largest universities have been caught up in a major cyber attack. Hackers use their personal information to send scam texts and fish for credit card details.